What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Joey back with more Assassin's Creed 2. I'm in a good mood today, kind of. So I thought I'd decide to ruin it with some Assassin's Creed 2. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's uh I'm just joking around. But you may be wondering something. That's why we're at the Auditory Villa. Well, couple things happened off screen. First thing, no, not here. Hi, Claudia. This. I collected a bunch of codex pages off screen, and I have 28 out of 30. If I am correct, the last two are story related. So once I get those two, I'll be able to do the final mission. You have to collect all third. You have to go all through Italy to find all of them. Some of them, I think maybe half of them, are story related. The other half you have to find yourself. Also, we collected the rest of the Assassin Seals. And we can now unlock the legendary Altair's precious armor. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I already placed that seal in. <laughs> Had a brain fart. There we go. Number three. And we have Amunet, and I'm pretty sure I explained who she was in, like, the second or third episode. What is it, whichever episode it was that we got to the Auditory Villa to be to beginning. And the final seal. Ugh, oh, this is gonna be awesome. Thank you, Altair, for this great gift. May it shield me from my enemies. Oh. <laughs> Does the freaking health go sky high? Oh, God, it just looks so perfect. Uh, hell no. Takes away four, takes away three. Like, what the frig? But yeah, like the friggin' health just skyrockets. Alright, this is the wrong way. No, stupid. There you go. Uh, I want to check to see if the uh, if any of the armor here is oh no it's no not repair there we go I was making a mix up there yeah like the only thing this is gonna provide one extra health square but like everything else just can't really match that. Well, yes, not here, is it? Think so this is basically the perfect Fight. armor. Um, I always get lost when I'm in here. Uh, but if I'm correct, the next mission is in Venice. So we're gonna... Quick, fast travel there. One hundred bucks. That's highway robbery. You think I have one hundred bucks? And with the friggin' mask too, he looks like he looks really cool. But yeah, we got the uh, carnival mask in the last episode, and we also used Leonardo's flying machine. 
so if you saw that episode, then you'll know I kind of had a little bit of anger in that episode, so I could have probably handled it better than I needed to be. But anyway, we're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen and uh, just move on. Uh, I don't really remember what the next mission is. I think I had to talk to Antonio about something. Oh, um, I'll give you a quick, quick, quick hint right here. My God, I couldn't talk. But whenever you see a group of guards in a certain place like this, like if they're all guarding a specific door, that is where a codex page could be found. So if you ever play in this game and you see the four guards like this, then there's a codex page in there. Also... Uh, another good way to find codex pages is to go onto the viewpoints and just, like, look around. Like, you can get to the viewpoints, synchronize there, and it should reveal the locations. Where the hell do I have to go right now? I'm not even sure. Okay, there, now I'm going the right way. I just had to, like, go around a corner here. It sucks that you can't, uh have horses in these areas. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, but still. Ah, we're here. Antonio? No. Oh, yep. Antonio, he's just having a little fun. Antonio, Maybe a little too much fun. Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Teodora! Meet the most, uh, <coughs> talented man in all of Venezia. Madonna. Ah, Sister Theodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> it depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come, join us, Ezio. Have a drink. Meet the ladies. <laughs> Murderer! Butcher! He sliced Lucia and stole so, her money! So, Messer Ezio, let's see just how talented you are. After him! Alright. I mean, I don't really see why I have to be the one to do this, but okay. Might as well. I can make some money out of it. I'm just I'm kidding, that's, that's mean. What the hell? Oh. Oh! Okay. So, I forgot we got the pistol as well. So... Ah, shit. I got pushed. Who the hell are you? Get away from me. Yeah, the, the pistol in this one, in Assassin's Creed 2, just isn't... Doesn't work as... What? Uh, what the fuck? This isn't going well. Alright, let's try this again. That was kind of embarrassing. I need to do this better. So, don't make me kill again. Crap. Like, get away from me. Yep, I'm pretty sure I failed that again. Lock on to him. Got him. God, that was... That took so much longer than it should have. Hey! Oh, okay, so I guess we're doing it this way. Alright. I missed. Oh, well. The gun doesn't work that way. Like, you have to freaking actually, like, lock on. Like, it's fucking kind of stupid, but I... I sort of get it. They can't just like give you like a freaking machine gun. Come on, get up there. There you go. 
Alright, um... Where the hell do I have to go to next, anyway? Okay, there we go. I was like, what the hell? I was a little confused, but I just had to get away from them. Uh, but yeah, the gun, like, is just so inaccurate in this one, in my opinion. In Brotherhood, it was so much easier to use. Also in Brotherhood, you were also had access to a crossbow, which I mainly used the crossbow because that one was, in my opinion, just again, much easier to use. Don't mind me. I mean, well, okay, I didn't, I tried to use the knives, but I forgot I had the, uh, ah, shit. Oh, that worked well enough. <laughs> God, I need to focus a bit. Okay, um, so yeah, I killed that one guy, now I gotta talk to the sister again. Sister Theodore? Te I don't know how it's pronounced. Uh, You have our gratitude, Edson. Why is it wherever you go, trouble follows? Antonio, I trust you know why I'm here. I imagine to rid Venice of Marco Barbarigo. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except for tonight. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask. Teodora? I think that's how it's pronounced. Teodora. All right. What is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive me, but why is it you wear a nun's habit if you aren't one? <laughs> Whoever said I wasn't. Indeed, I am married to the Lord. And yet you are also a courtesan. You run a bordello. So? I see no contradiction. How I choose to practice my faith. What I choose to do with my body. These are my choices to make. Like many young women, I was drawn to the church, but grew disillusioned by the believers of the city. Men hold God only as an idea in their heads, not in the depths of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized, so I created my own. It may not be traditional, but men's hearts grow firmer in my care. Among other things. Among other things. Oh, shit! <laughs> uh, I didn't even think you would say that. Signore, signore! Come on, come on! The games of Carnevale are about to begin! Do you have oh, I see the two Templars in the back. Grand prize as this? this year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such an exceptional reward? Come, compete! Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. I hate this mission so much. Because each mission is timed, if I remember correctly. Oh, God. Or maybe at least one of them is timed. I don't remember this mission. Well, not much, anyway. Here's how the game is played. We'll find out. All the ladies in the district have ribbons. Your job is to obtain them. 
Whoever has the most before my hourglass runs out yep. is one step closer to winning the golden mask. For God's sake. Okay. Four minutes. Okay. Um, twenty-five ribbons. Okay. Okay. Wait. What do I do? Do I steal? You stole a sm Okay. So I just gotta steal. Okay. Fine. That's good. Hello. I'm just jumping around like a fool trying to steal all the shit. Mind if I join you? <laughs> yeah, all the uh, cheesy one-liners that he can think of. Excuse me, ladies. Um. Okay. Seem to be doing all right so far. <laughs> what I find really awkward is that he's probably like feeling them up right now. It's like, hey, can I trouble you for a ribbon? It's kind of pervy if you think about it. But hell, he's a charmer. All the women fall for him. And I'm just falling for them. Literally. So I just fell. Shit. Come on. I'm running out of time. I need to pick up the pace. Come on. Okay, another group of girls here. I just looted 18 blocks off one dude. <laughs> and 19 and 16. That's all a mistake. I'm sorry. Shit. Wait, I bet this is why I hated this mission. Because I, uh... Yep, I drew the attention of all those guards. Yep, that's why I hated this mission to begin with. But that was mainly because I accidentally looted a bunch of unnecessary people. Shit! Uh, damn. Yep, watch me have to redo this because my stupid ass was looting a bunch of unnecessary people. Uh, and I can't. What? Damn it! And I can't. I have to hide first before I can continue collecting because they, like. Oh my god, this is sucks! Fuck's sakes, no. Oh. Are you kidding me? For God's sakes, this sucks! Crap, move! Damn it, I'm probably gonna fail. Okay, maybe not, so let's see. No, I don't need money. For fuck's sakes. Please, God. I just need one more. Finally. Jesus, I'm so freaking worried. We have a winner! You have more ribbons than any man here. You proved yourself a favorite of the ladies and are now one step closer to the greatest prize of all time. <sighs> I gotta do more. Wait. Uh, I'm still a little confused. Why is there two exclamation points? Is there two activities that I... Or three activities I have to do? Or is this... I guess so, yep. Welcome, Benvenuti. 
Are you ready to test yourselves with a game of speed and endurance? Many challenges lie in your path. The game is simple, but finishing it, near impossible. Start when you're ready. The first contestant to beat the course record is one step closer to the golden mass. What the fuck? Now I have to race. Okay, so... I did the little test to get the golden mask. The first one was you had to do you had to collect these ribbons from all the cortesans which are basically like the the prostitutes, I guess, in this game. Um you had to collect the ribbons and then you had to win a race uh, that took a few tries and then you had to play capture the flag and all those missions there required me to use a lot of medicine because I had to like jump from like 20 feet in the air and lose like half my health maybe not freaking more than that I was down to like three squares at one point that's how high of the jump it was but like for fuck's sakes it was so annoying I think this is the last one and I think all it is is like a fight or something until you are the last man left okay no weapons so I just have to punch them okay I'll do my best who will win the golden mask <sighs> and I also just bought a bunch of medicine so come on stop okay just a couple headbutts to the skull because you're weak kick you in the nuts kick you in the nuts again Play a smackdown on you. Are you gonna hop down or what? You're just gonna spaz out a little bit. Oh, okay, that's cool. Just gotta counterattack you a little bit. There we go. Now we're laying a friggin' beat down on your ass. What this really is, is that the Templars are sending in their own men. Yeah, they're sending in all their own guys because they know I'm an assassin because I've been beating all their trials and they're like, okay, no one can really defeat the trials that well, so... But, for me, the trials went terribly, but in their eyes, Ezio did a good job, but... Keep beating you. Is there nobody else to challenge our man in the ring? Do we have a winner? And he's paid him off. Ah, uh, we have combatants. Yep, they're just gonna kill me. So that's how it's going to be, eh? I guess so. Um, ow. How do I steal? Maybe it's RT and then B. Uh, that didn't exactly work, but you know. Maybe I'm supposed to die? Or, no, I don't think so. There we go, that works. Hey. At least I got a somewhat of a weapon. Got like a dagger. There we go. Come on. Oh, I don't think so. Sliced right up his belly. That would hurt. There we go. Signora e signor. 
glory! The games of Carnivale have come to a glorious conclusion. Come see our winner claim his golden mask. Our winner has proven himself the fleetest of foot, the strongest of champions, the wisest strategist, and clearly a favorite of the ladies. With four games won, Lealmente, the winner of the fair and square my ass. <laughs> the winner of the golden mask is Dante Moro. Oh, so I just have to kill you instead. So that was kind of fucking pointless for me to just do all those damn trials and to have freaking no reward for it. That's, that's great. I mean, I could have killed him another way, but, you know, this will be more hatred letting out. Like, I'll be stabbing the shit out of him to get the freaking mask because he totally just robbed me out of something that was very complicating and well-deserved. Sorry, Ezio. We could not have known Silvio would cheat as he did. <laughs> you should have. Sister, you told us to let you know if we saw that rotting Golo who stole the golden mask. He's on his way to the Doge's party. I will go. I can catch him before he arrives and take back the mask. How? By killing the poor Stronzo? Yes. yes. You know what's at stake. No. If you kill him, they'll cancel the party. And Marco will retreat back into his palazzo. We'll have wasted our time again. Steal the mask instead. Quietly. My <sighs> girls can help. They're already on their way to the party, all along the route. They can help you distract him while you acquire the mask. Va bene. I can do that. Great. This is just gonna cause a lot of frustration. I really wanted to kill him, now I gotta do it stealthily and not get caught. Well... You've got to be kidding me. He was just around the corner the entire fucking time. <sighs> I hate this game. For a number of reasons. But also, I guess I'm just really bad at it. That's why I prefer the uh, other games instead. The other Assassin's Creed games. If you chase after me, I swear to God. And now I have the golden mask. Okay, I'm going to end the episode off here. I honestly have no idea how long this video is going to be. It could be really short. It could be really long. I have no freaking clue. All I know is I feel like I've been recording for a bit more than a half hour. So in the next episode, we're going to go through the party and try to find, I think, Marco was his name? Yeah, assassinate Marco Bar Barago, I guess. Yeah, we're going to go assassinate him in the next episode. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, share with your friends and family. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.